Justin, uh, just passing on some information. We're gonna take the power strips home with us. The big ones. Okay. Okay, whenever you guys are ready, take it away. Good luck. All right, game one, and it is Sheik versus Falx on Smashville. A very vanilla start. Bouncing damage, more bouncing damage. Good forward smash by Void, getting all those hits. Fox already at 65%. Neither player in a really good spot to do anything there. Korean reaching a little bit too far with down air, but does not get punished for it. Nice raw bear. Puts him in a better position if he gets the bear. And Void looking for a panic air dodge there, but he doesn't get it. But he shouldn't need to force anything too hard. And a nice nair catching the ledge jump. To bouncing kill. One, two, three. Wash, rinse, repeat. Void is looking pretty dominant right now. Korean just hasn't been able to get anything started. And you can see there that Void has the, uh, the, the, the penetrating needles. They have a little more hit stun, but they fly shorter and there are less of them. And they pass through uh, the first thing that they hit and they keep going. Very nice bouncing fish. Oh, wow. That, that is a sign of somebody knowing the matchup because he knew that he could get another up air for free even though he missed. Void wanted a trump right there, although I don't know what that would have got him. The back air, not really a, a good kill move anymore for trumps. But that should do it. No, nope, Korean barely hanging on. The Koreans running on fumes. Ouch. Nice. Catches the thirsty up smash. Korean looking uh, pretty shook, but I'm sure he can bring this back if he thinks about it. This is still probably advantage to Sheik on paper. Just because of... Uh, how slippery Sheik is. And because Fox falls fast, that's a lot of uh, free damage. Okay, Pikachu. I respect the change. Fox not working out. Gotta change it up. Now is the time to test. I mean, you're still in winner's bracket, so you still have a loss to give. Might as well try stuff out if you can. Void having a much harder time comboing Sheik, uh, comboing with Sheik on Pikachu than he did with Fox. Pikachu is a lot smaller. You get duck under some stuff. Some stuff will just flat out whiff. And Pikachu's error uh, attacks are pretty good. Okay, nice tilt by Korean. Keeping Void saying, respect my zone. Ooh, that bouncing fish was so good. Void is just so good at setting those up. Oh, but the skull bash. Sit down. We'll see if that wakes up Void or not, because that was a huge kill. Bringing it to one stock apiece, basically. So this is anybody's game right now. Good call by Korean to scope out the up smash. Disrespect. Is Charles and Charles trying to steal that game right there? Oh, good call again. Oh, but he doesn't get the grab. A little too thirsty. Oh, good punish again. Has to respect the thunder. Oh, if he had time, he could have trapped him again, but he did not. 
Oh, that's a sticky situation for Korean. He can't grab that. He shouldn't have moved. You gotta be aware of... Oh, and Void takes a huge risk and pays for it. Korean takes a game. And Charles is still trying to gather the fact that he, uh, he pulled that game out. But... And trying to think about his counterpick. That's always really hard when when the pressure's on you and you're on game three. Sometimes it's hard to think out your, your best ban. Alright, guys, we are taking time for our 3 p.m. But we'll see how this goes. Interesting thing to take your order. I repeat, we are. Is Void just gonna run it back? Is he gonna switch to Rosalina? Nope, he is switching to regular needles. Is that gonna be his answer to this matchup? All right, here we go. Game three on FD. This is what Void typically will counterpick when he loses a game. Wow. Not sure how Void snuck that grab in, but he snuck it in, he did. Up tilt. Oh! Wow! That sequence. Getting the re-grab at the end. Good throw. Oh, Void needs to watch out for that headbutt. That headbutt could seal it if he's not careful. You gonna try and trap the landing? No, he does not. He goes for forward smash instead. I would have liked to have seen him trap the landing there. That would have probably been more fruitful. And Void is behind right now. Doesn't seem to know what to do. Oh. Oh, Void gets the headbutt in, but it wasn't strong enough. Oh, but Void shaking his head does not recover. Not pleased with that. Void taking some time to think about it. Going into his zone. Oh, wow. Charles could have punished the shit out of that. And now the tables have turned where uh, Void must approach. And he's probably going to start overextending for kills. Oh, sexy bouncing fish combo. Nice grenade, but good recovery by Korean. Oh, he wasn't ready for the hit. Didn't get the up smash kill. Void needs to take back uh, momentum somehow. Oh, the lag on the bouncing fish is going to allow Korean to get away. And Charles is just swinging for the fences. I don't like that. He could have played a little bit more conservative and held on to his lead. 49% against Void is not a lead. Void is a sequence monster. And already he's uh, brought it back. I don't like Void's overextending with that uh, bear, though. You got to know that Korean's scouting for that as he has the lower ground advantage and the smaller hurt box between the two characters. Korean really needs to watch out for the grab. Void is scheming for the grab right now. Good uh, gravity grenade reading the up B. Void wasting his needles a little bit, trying to get them back. Good dash attack punish on the forward air. Korean whiffing neutral B the wrong way. Good dash attack punish again. Grab might not have been guaranteed there. And that's going to close it out. Clutch play by Void. Excellent job. But still shaking his head. I guess he's not happy that it became so close. But still, a win is a win. And a good effort by Korean. Showing his bag of tricksies. And now it is my turn to play Eru Tea. Not Ice Tea, but Eru Tea.
Okay.